I'm a lot more careful with this one just because I don't have that many shaves on. Come on, America. Come on, America. Come on, America. I've got a little over a week's worth of growth on my face, so it's perfect for these adjustable razors. Um, the nice thing with an adjustable razor, you can start out real aggressive, you know, to remove the bulk of your growth when you're going with the grain. And then you can dial it down so you can get, you know, a very smooth, close shave. So there are advantages to a adjustable razor. And I'm going to show you today. And I'm going to use the Persona. We're going to be putting on Rockwell's shaving cream. Uh, this stuff's great. I am going to be using my little handy dandy shave ball here with a Simpson synthetic T3 knot. This is probably the best knot you can buy for the money. Um, it's awesome. I mean, that's how quick it takes to prep a synthetic brush. And if you have sensitive skin, it's perfect. But I'll link everything below, so don't worry about it. Keep watching the video. Just gonna open this up. The nice thing is, you know, these are tens. I got some left on the top during shipping. Just gonna take, you know, yay much, probably a little too much. And, you know, take the excess, just rub it here on my face, just to help out. Say so this shaving cream is pretty darn good. Now I just got out of the shower, but by rubbing the remnants of that on my face is gonna help. They do make a pre-shave oil, but just to see how these would perform, because a lot of people don't have pre-shave oils, I just wanted to show you how I'm gonna do it. So got some in the bowl here. Tip prepped, nothing coming out. I'll just put it in here and just start up this lather. Now, I know for me, I traditionally like to face lather, but with creams, you know, it seems like if I use a bowl, it's easier because all of their, all the creams tend to be soft and I don't want to, you know, bloom water in it and, you know, make it, I don't want it firm. I, I like it soft. There's, there's a time and a place for that. All right, so got this loaded up. So to go on, paint it on my face. like so, dip it in the tips, and start creating a lather. I did get a nick right here from the leaf razor using three blades in it. Um, Pretty shocked about that. First time I've ever nicked myself with that thing. The Parker variant. The Parker is a two-piece razor. So, you know, your top cap, just grab your blade, throw it on top, push it back on there, and tighten her up. Oh wait, it's not aligned perfectly. These ones have a line here on the side that have to be lined up. See how that line on the bottom matches the top? Oop. See how the bottom line matches the line on the top? That's what you have to do with these. So, mine's sitting on one when it's fully down. Uh, last time I put it on three and I, it was pretty good. Rockwell 6C, which already has a blade in it, already loaded it. This is a three piece razor. You know, one, two, three. I do have the six plate on it. Um, with this Rockwell, six plate does me well. Does me real well. Especially with this kind of growth. I'm gonna go in with the variant first. Okay, nice pass, very smooth.
Now, if you notice, I'm going below my chin line. My hair does grow this way, but what I found is when the last few shaves I've been going with the grain down here and it's causing a lot of irritation. So I'm gonna go back to my old way because I never really got that much irritation. So we'll see how that goes, which it's gonna go good, I'm sure. Okay, good blade feel. You can tell it's on three, it feels pretty good. Let me go over to the Rockwell using the six plate. Now this six plate and that on number three on mine, that three is more aggressive than the six, or it feels like it. Man, but this six is just so smooth. I mean, look, it just hangs on. Shave cream's really good. Highly, highly recommend it. Okay, just wanted to cut that in. Let me go up top here. Just a quickie. Just gonna finish up with the Rockwell. Just a beauty. Now there is an advantage to the Rockwell 6C and I've shaved with this probably a hundred times and, and that's not over exaggerating a hundred times. So I do have the feel for it. The Parker, this is only my third shave with it. So you can even tell when I'm shaving, like I'm, I'm a lot more careful with this one just because I don't have that many shaves on it. Let's rinse this off here. All right, just going back in here for the second pass. Probably will hit that again. I mean, look how much, it's amazing how much lather you get out of this cream. First pass was good. Good on both. Which one won? Mm, I mean, the, like I said, the Rockwell 6C, it's, it's not as aggressive. So it, it's a smoother shave, but the Parker's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm gonna leave the six plate in here for this pass, but the Parker, I'm gonna bump down to like a two and a half as you can see. Yeah, that's... Still some there, but man, the razor feedback is pretty good. Uh, we're gonna go against the green here. Now we're gonna go against the green lower. OK, 
Okay. No blade chatter. That's awesome. Now with the Rockwell 6C. I mean, yeah, about the same. Okay. This is just so smooth. And I tell everybody, if you don't own the, at least this one, I mean, buy the cheap one if you have to. Me knowing what I know now, I would have just bought the 6S if it was affordable because, I mean, this razor is a winner. It just builds so much confidence. So I got a pimple there. And that's another thing. See the pimple there? The Rockwell didn't, you know, slice that right off. We're good to go. Still get pimples in my age. Rockwell's closer, but again, I'm more proficient with a Rockwell. Yeah, it's probably should have left that one on a three. I'll leave it on a two now, see what it does. Don't wanna to get too buck wild with it. Uh, might as well just take the Rockwell, clean this up. Yeah, all good. If you haven't hit that like button yet, smash that yes. button and subscribe. You watch this channel all the time anyways. Parker Allenblock. Dude, look at this case. Look how big this is. I mean, it's like 10 bucks on Amazon. I, I don't think you can beat this. This is one of my freaking favorites. I was gonna cut it in half. Never half. Cause it just covers so much volume on my face. It's like, why? Okay, uh, little tingle here, little right here, nothing there. I actually have a little bit of tingle right here. That was a Rockwell 6C. Nothing below, little bit below with the Parker. I can see why a lot of people like the Parker because if you're um, like on the fence, if you want something that's, you know, aggressive and you can make it mild, then, you know, I can see why a variant would come into play in your, you know, shave den. Um, I can definitely see that. Uh, which one do I like better? Well, I'm not particularly fond on how you load the Parker variant. Um, it just don't, it doesn't instill confidence on me. It is all brass, it does have a brass handle on it. It comes in a variety of different colors. The Rockwell 6C, in my mind, is the clear winner. Uh, it's price as well. They're $60 on Amazon. You can go to Rockwell's website, use Ohio underscore shaves and save 10%, which takes it down to $54 shipped. That's pretty damn cheap for a razor, especially a razor of this caliber. Now, I actually purchased this razor. You know, since then they have contacted me and, you know, given me affiliate links and, you know, a couple razors, which is awesome, you know, just to showcase their products which I'm cool with because it helps, you know, pay for all this stuff, which isn't cheap. Yeah, what? Oh shit. This razor right here, this is one of my oldest razors. The oldest one I have right now is the, the McCurr 34C. It's showing wear. And as you can see, I just dropped that plate. Uh, it's showing wear. Uh, the Rockwell, I mean, obviously I polish every one of my razors up. This razor is showing nowhere whatsoever. 
it's over a year old. I've dropped plates, I've dropped the whole razor, never had a problem with it. Never had a blade misaligned. I mean, when I load a blade in this, I still look at it just self-consciously, but you don't have to. And that's the cool thing about it. I, I see why people like it. it. It's a good looking razor. The price point on this one is, I think $59. Okay, or $58, this one's 60. They only sell these on Amazon. Uh, this one, like I'm saying, using my affiliate link through right through directly through Rockwell, you get 10% off everything. So if you wanna pick up you know, shaving cream or anything else, you're gonna get 10% off that, which is huge. And if you spend over 50 bucks, it's free shipping. So this is $54 shipped. That's hard to beat. This is a rate, this is a rate that's really hard to beat. And I'm not just saying that. If you don't own a Rockwell razor, all I gotta ask you is why not? I mean, if it comes down to money, okay, I totally get that. But if you're just shying away from it, away from it for some reason, man, you're missing out big time. I just absolutely love that razor. And I sell a ton of them. Um, not just my affiliate link through Rockwell, but even on Amazon, it's, it's my number one. Um, it outsells uh, the twig and the thorn. It just does, just because, you know, it's good. All right, so got that on my face. Still got some stinging though. A um, Little aggressive, probably should have used um, some, some pre-shave oil, because I do feel it down here. So I'm just gonna go in with some Thayer's Witch Hazel. This is just the original scent, has no alcohol in it, so it doesn't burn your face. Oh yeah, it's just so refreshing too. I gotta say, even when I don't shave, I'm putting this on my head a lot, like after I, you know, after I would wash my face and head, I'm putting this on a lot and I haven't gone through hardly any of it and I don't use it sparingly at all. So that stuff goes on wet and that's why it's so refreshing. Let me get it to dry up here a little bit. Wow. I mean, that in itself has already started to soothe a little bit of irritation that I had down here or stinging, which is uncomfortable. So I'm going in with Nivea. This is probably my favorite shaving balm for the spring, summer, for warmer climates. This is it. What I like about this is, I, I'm just gonna put that much on. Now, don't forget, I put this on my head too. If you're just putting it on your face, you don't have to go buck wild with it. But the nice thing about the Nivea is it doesn't hang around. It has a slight, I don't know, like maybe a citrus smell, but it doesn't hang and that's what I like. I wear colognes and I don't want my shaving balm or aftershave to fight with a cologne. I mean, I buy cologne, not aftershave. Wow. So how do you rate a shave? Well, for me, generally it's, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes and then I can tell, you know, on my face and how it feels, how good that shave was. But right off the rip, um, both are great razors. I can see why people buy both of them. Um, the Rockwell 6C to me is a better buy. Uh, if you put them side by side, they're identical height wise, you know, the top from the bottom plate to the top cap, they're identical. Now the blade gap is different, obviously, but uh, weight wise, per, damn near the same. They don't feel any different in my hand. Yeah, great razors. Now this one's made in India. This one's made in China, you know, and sold in Canada. But uh, this razor is probably the hardest razor out there to beat. This is the razor that made me a better shaver. and. I can put any blade in here and find a plate that works for it. it. It's just that good. And I can't stress saying that enough. You will find a blade, even the Rockwell blades, which 
I very seldom use just because I have so many other blades to try and that I like. Um, even with their Rockwell blades they give you, for me it's a six plate. Um, the Personas are actually a sharper blade which should fall like on a five or a four, but they don't. Um, feather blades on the Rockwell for me is plate number four. I don't know why, maybe just because that feather blade is, you know, just so aggressive and sharp. That's what I need. But yeah, great shave. Little tingle though. Little tingle over here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys down the road. I'm a lot more careful with this one just because I don't have that many shaves on. Come on America. Come on, America. Game Come on, America. over.